Mariners and friends, this is Captain Prashant Kulkarni and I am sailing from last 45 years and in command since last 25 years. I have sailed on various types of ships. I have sailed on tankers, bulk carriers, cargo ships, container vessel, pure cement carrier and also on passenger ships. I have a passion for teaching. I am making my first video. This video is titled as Garbage Record Book. As there has been changes in Marco Linux 5 in 2018, this is all about the Garbage Record Book. Kindly have a look on this. Marpol is short of marine pollution. Marpol is the main convention of International Maritime Organization, a branch of United Nations aimed at prevention of pollution from ships and floating platforms and structures caused by operational or accidental cause and to preserve the marine environment. Presently, the Marpole has six annexes which are as following Prevention of pollution from Annex J1 Oil pollution Annex J2 Noxious liquid substance in bulk Annex J3 Harmful substances carried by sea in package form Annex J4 Sewage from ships Annex J5 Garbage from ships Annex J6 Air Pollution Furthermore, annex J's are coming but presently we have only 6 Annex J5 Garbage from Ships is where which is leading to our next topic In this video we will explain how the record keeping is carried out on ships and offshore floating platform In the Garbage Record Book Part 1 and 2 as per the latest amendment of MAPOL Annex J5, which is effective since 1st March 2018, please listen carefully. In this video, we have shown the central storage point of garbage collected in a ship. This is for people who have not done sailing and who are keen to know what it's all about. This is how does it look like normally stored in the stern part of the ship. Now the garbage record book regulation requirements. Marpole and XJ5 which is for garbage. Regulation 10 requires every ship of 400 gross tonnage and above and every ship which is certified to carry more than 15 persons engaged in voyages to port or offshore terminals shall be provided with a garbage record book. Also for ships of 100 gross tonnage or more but which is carrying 15 persons or more and fixed floating platforms a garbage management plan. Play card to be posted on ships floating platforms noting discharge requirements. Next we will see what sort of play cards are being posted on the ships. The first play card is how the garbage is segregated and where whether we can discharge in the sea or we cannot discharge in the sea. These placards are as example Every company can have their own placards depending on their run, depending on what cargo they carry and what is the requirement. You can see how this garbage which is generated is sending, whether we can send it to the sea dischargeable, whether we can give it to the compactor or we can send it to the incinerator or we can 
whether it can be commuted or grinded to a small pieces all the details are given here these placards which you see are posted at various locations on the ship and they clearly explain the seamen how the garbage has to be disposed second placard is giving you all the different containers what color can they have and these colors will distinguish how exactly the garbage has to be segregated and maintained till finally it is disposed we can see the green red blue yellow orange gray purple brown and white these garbages are being sorted in different color beans and later disposed accordingly where are these beans located is mentioned they are located all over the main area is the galley office of pantry crew pantry and the launch they are also in the hospital cabins bridges laundry ship's office ecr engine room workshop and also near incinerator purifier room paint room and deck workshop the placard next which i am showing you is telling you where these garbage can be disposed and where they cannot be disposed i will be covering this in another video which will tell you what the nxj5 special area and non special area is there these fly cards are important and the seaman needs to check before the disposal is required another placard which is again showing where you can dispose or you can't dispose very similar to one which you saw before this is another example and this is as per the imo resolution and they have given a complete detail how the garbage can be discharged the garbage record book new which has come up there are a lot of changes as this is as per mecc 277 into 70 a new form of garbage record book which is effective from 1st march it is applicable it's in two parts applicable part 1 is applicable for all ships part 2 is applicable for ships carrying solid bulk cargoes very similar to the oil record book which is maintained part 1 for all ships and part 2 for tankers the garbage record book along with the receipts obtained from reception facilities has to be kept on board or on the fixed floating platform in such a place so that they are readily available for inspection the auditors need to see these and these documents have to be preserved at least for 2 years the garbage record book has general type information to be recorded officer in charge has to sign master has to sign retention receipt has to be for all waste landed assured and retention of record book for 2 years for audit and inspection which i explained earlier is been against discussed the garbage record book will tell how exactly the garbage has been disposed either is it incinerated discharged into the sea or discharged to a shore reception facility let's look into part 1 now it is divided in many categories the categories are plastic food waste domestic waste cooking oil incinerator ash operational waste animal carcass fishing gear and electronic or e waste how do we treat the treatment also is done through three things and these equipments have to be understood some there is a word called communicator the communicator is operated by the chief cook which is normally in the galley and it 
when the food waste is passed through it it gets into a small pieces of 25 mm minimum we have to ensure that the ship is not in port at not less than 3 miles and 12 miles away in the special area the special area i will be discussing in another video and then he once he checks he can use the commutator and treat the garbage compactor is used to reduce the volume of waste especially plastics so that we can compact all the plastic before disposal assured incinerator is to be operated by the engineer it shall not be used in port and closer to three miles from the shore which plastics to be burned and which plastics not to be burned and also what can be burned will be discussed in another video as per following regulation of an extra 5 this is what garbage record book contains regulation 4 discharge of garbage outside special area regulation 5 special requirements for discharge of garbage regulation 6 discharge of garbage within special area regulation 7 is exceptional loss these regulations in the maples need to be read and completely understood before any chief officer or any person who is discharging the garbage. The garbage record book normal entries are the date and time, position of ship at sea or berth, category that is A, B, C, D what we discussed, estimated amount of discharge into sea auto reception facility estimated amount incinerated the amount which here is spoken is in metric cube any remarks normally the start stop time is written there certification and signature mostly by the officer and also by the master by the end of the page look at the copy i've got a form of copy in which the same thing is mentioned this is the format which you will find for a garbage record book. Exceptional discharge in case unforeseen discharge has taken place. You have to mention the date and time, port and position, category, estimated amount lost or discharge, remark or reason of discharge and loss and general remarks and later the certification and signature of the officer and the master. This is as per regulation 7 of Mapul. You can see the same is mentioned there. The master signs in the end that due to unexceptional circumstances this has happened. Garbage record book part 2. This is Especially on bulk carriers, all cargo residues as defined in Regulation 1.2. Regulation 4 is informing discharge of garbage outside special area and then discharge of garbage within special area. Entries, we have finished up to I last time. We have another 2-1. Cargo residues non-harmful to marine environment and cargo residues harmful to marine environment. Garbage record book part 2 contains following information, date and time of discharge, position of ship, name of port, category of discharge, estimated amount of discharge at sea, reception facility, ships, start and stop position of discharge into sea. This uh, start and stop position is given in latitude and longitude. So be, be very careful and ensure that you record the start and stop position in the remark column and here it is this is how the garbage record book part 2 looks like friends how do you come to know that this cargo is harmful to the marine environment a form has to be supplied by the shipper and that shipper 
you will see a column in which it is mentioned classification related to marpol and mixture 5 if it is harmful to the marine environment or not harmful to the marine environment in case it is harmful to the marine environment after cleaning your hatches you will not discharge the residue cargo in the sea but land it ashore in case it is not harmful then you can make your normal entries so friends i hope you like the video i will be making many more videos on marine education and information in case you like my video please subscribe to my channel and i will be coming up with the new videos very soon bye for now